Four months ago, I introduced you to a financial technology company, or FinTech, with a smoking hot stock. It was Broadbridge Financial Solutions. This was spun off by ADP, the huge payroll processing firm, way back in 2007. And in the last five years, Broadbridge has really come into its own. Their technology helps banks make themselves more efficient and better at managing risk, while their communication services make it easier for banks to engage with their clients. Since we checked in with Broadbridge in May, get this, the stock has vaulted from 112 to 137, with most of that move coming after the company reported a blowout quarter a little over a month ago. Plus, over the summer, the stock was added to the S&P 500, which always gives you a nice boost. But this week, we got some news that should always cause investors to take stock. We learned that come 2019, Broadbridge's CEO is retiring, although he'll stick around as executive chairman with the current chief operating officer, COO, Tim Goki, taking the helm. Leadership changes, even planned ones, can be unsettling when you've had huge wins as shareholders. So let's get some reassurance with Rich Daly. He's the outgoing CEO of Broadbridge Financial Solutions and his successor, Tim Goki, the current president and CEO, CEO who will take the reins as CEO starting next year. Mr. Daly, Mr. Gogi, welcome to Mad Money. Welcome, welcome back to Mad great, Money. Great to be Thank back. You. Okay, so we know that it can be one of these things where people say, oh, like, I like that guy Daly. I don't know about this new guy. So why don't you, uh, let's say, um, why don't you say why it's not a bad thing? Jim, the board and I know that uh, if you're going to go down as a decent, le decent leadership team, you're going to get succession right. We started on this over a decade ago. We had a strong management team. We still went into a two-year search to identify Tim. Okay. Tim joined us. He led the turnaround of our capital markets and solutions segment, and he's checked the box every step along the way. He's been a great partner with me, and he's just recently led our team on the next generation of our strategy that we rolled out at our last Investor Day last December. Tim's the real deal. We got this right. All right, so, Tim, tell us about your background, uh, the uh the capital markets work that you did and what you've been working on the last year. Yeah, absolutely. Really, uh, I'll start with the last with the last year, sure. which is we've been working with the whole senior management team on really where to go for the next 10 years. And we are very excited about the vision that we have for that. Uh, we talked about it at Investor Day last year mm -hmm. around really big opportunities in extending the franchise we have in governance. I'm sure we'll talk about that. Right. In how we can help our global capital markets clients simplify and improve their technology infrastructure, mm -hmm. and really how we help wealth management firms in this country uh, address the challenges that they're going to have also as things evolve. So, Inc including things like passive investment, robo exactly. robo advisors, these are all pressuring them. These margins. are big pressures, and we can really help with that. Okay, so, so one thing that, that I think uh, is very exciting, Rich, and we have you know, talk about some of the exciting stuff. For some of it's mundane, you just mail, 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 you and data, data, data. But uh, blockchain, which is fin financial tech, and what it means for our investors at home. So, at Broadridge, we're always looking with a long-term point of view. We're investing today three to five years out. Blockchain is a new technology. That will make our world better. Think of it as being like the internet on steroids with security. All right? So we will lead in those activities. We've invested over $150 million into blockchain so far. We've rolled out under Tim's leadership proxy in the U.S., proxy around the globe. All right? And on top of that, it's digital as well. Because we want to get your listeners, the retail investors we both care so much about, the ability to give them the information they want in a digital format and make them better informed with less work on speed? their part. How about speed? Absolutely. Right? Faster than three Click days, of the phone. Click like of that. the phone. All right. Now, you also have a kind of building business that's provided by our government. SEC 30E3. What's it mean? Uh, 30E3, just for your listeners, is uh, a new regulation that we are, uh, that we were supportive of that is, will help uh, simplify the distribution of information, regulatory information, to end investors for mutual funds. And it will uh, help reduce the amount of paper and postage that is a cost to, to everyone. And uh, we think it's a very positive thing. It's going to take a couple of years to roll out, but we're working with our clients right now to help them with that. Okay, I think that people want to know uh, what is be their day-to-day -day, uh, interaction with Broadbridge, and they don't know that they're interacting with Broadbridge and they own shares. Just kind of just say that you're, because you're really kind of all-encompassing yep. and you're behind the scenes, but people are really dealing with you. Yeah. So a couple of different areas. First of all, the most obvious one is around communications. Right. And uh, pretty much all of the regulatory communications that you might receive, uh, particularly around boards of directors elections, uh, would come from us. Right. 
in many cases, some of the other things, if you buy a mutual fund and you get uh, a prospectus afterwards, uh, that would come from us. There's a whole range of communications. But even deeper than that, as you mentioned, the other things that we do that are behind the scenes, uh, for many firms, their books and records, clearance and settlement, and some of their core technology, uh, we provide for them on a software as a service. I, I have to tell you the situation I was in, I'm the only stock model to own, and I started the street, I said, I didn't think my share count was right. And the only people we trusted were you guys. You knew the share count of how much I really voted, and that's what really came to it. You couldn't, no one knows and, this but stuff But you, you, you had reason to trust us, because we're the only entity out there that has the technology and then on top of that provides independent verification. Right. Well, that's what we know. I said, this is, we need to have someone who's... everything we right. do. And that's what you do, and that's why you're trusted. Right. Okay, uh, last thing I, I need to know is, with President Trump, I thought there was going to be less regulation, but there hasn't been any lessening when it comes to the regulations that you guys are involved in. Oh, well, here's the great news. Jim, you're, re you're the champion of the retail investor. Thank you. You know I'm passionate about retail investors, and I know how much they matter. Better news than either of that is the chairman of the SEC, Jay Clayton, Smart. really cares about retail investors. Totally. Everything he says, everything he writes, always comes back to the retail investor. So we now are in a scenario, so it's not adding more regulation. It's making sure that the investor gets counted. So going forward, your investors, who I said the last time, really matter? Yeah, thank you. With Jay Clayton, are going to matter more. Oh, that's what we want. He's running a roundtable. You can't get anything done unless the SEC vets these things. Right. They're using the round table to do it. We'll be there with the ABCDs of Broadridge's technology future. Tim's leading this. AI, blockchain, cloud, and digital. All right, we got to cover. Okay, thank you so much. That's Rich Daly. He is the outgoing CEO and soon to be executive chairman. And this is Tim Koki. He's the current COO and incoming CEO of Broadridge BR. They have money's back after the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.